Create items from your Squared for Retail point of sale app or your Squared dashboard to check out customers faster, know what's selling best, and track inventory so you never miss a sale. Square for Retail offers lots of ways to build your item library, depending on your business needs and catalog size. If you're just getting started with your business or if you have a smaller catalog, you can manually create items or auto-create items by scanning barcodes to build your library. If you have a larger, more complex catalog, or if you are migrating your item library from a different POS, we recommend using the Item Library Import tool. To save time, we recommend logging into your online Square dashboard and setting up taxes before you start building your item library. To do this, head to Account and Settings, then Sales Taxes, located under Business. You can manually create an item in the Square for Retail POS app or work faster by creating items in the Square Online Dashboard. To manually create items in your dashboard, go to Items, then click Create an Item. Here, you can name your item and give it a category to organize your item library. This enables you to track sales by category or, if you subscribe to Square for Retail Plus, by total inventory value across categories. You can also upload an item image and add a description, both of which are important if you plan to sell online with a Square online store. Then, you can specify the item's location if you have multiple stores or warehouses. If you set up sales taxes beforehand, you'll also be able to specify the taxes associated with this item. If you have multiple items that share like characteristics, such as shirts that come in similar sizes, like small, medium, large, you can create an option set called Sizes and easily apply it across multiple items to quickly create variations. You can assign unique attributes to each item variation, such as the item's Global Trade Item Number, or GTIN. This can be the barcode that comes on the item, otherwise known as a UPC. To help you save time, Square for Retail automatically generates a unique SKU when you add a new item variation. You can choose to turn off auto SKU generation in the settings. If you sell an item by weight, volume, or another unit of measurement, you can specify the unit or leave the default per item setting. Next, you can add the item price. If you subscribe to Square for Retail Plus, you can also add the unit cost to track cost of goods sold. Finally, you can receive stock and add low stock alerts. If you subscribe to Square for Retail Plus, you can also add the vendor name to see vendor sales reporting and save time when reordering. Click Save to finish. You can also manually create an item from the Retail POS app by navigating to the Items tab. Quickly create items using Square for Retail's Auto Create feature, which automatically populates item details when you scan or search an item's GTIN barcode. You can access Auto Create in the Square Online Dashboard or in the Retail POS app. To automatically create an item in the Retail POS app, navigate to Items. Tap Create Item and then Auto Create. Search for a product or scan your item's barcode using your iOS device camera or a connected handheld scanner. Select the item that you want to create from the results. Next, you can modify your item details, including name, category, and price. You can also receive stock to add stock quantities and unit cost. Finish by tapping Save. You can also auto-create an item from the Square Online Dashboard by navigating to Items and selecting Create an Item. If you have a large catalog or you're switching your catalog from another POS, 
or if you prefer to work in Excel, the fastest way to build your item library is via the Import Item Library tool, which is accessible on the Square Online Dashboard. To start, click Items. Download our template to prepare your item library for import. Open the template and add in key item details, including name, category, price, unit cost, and quantity. If you're switching from another POS, you will need to first export your existing library into an Excel file before you can copy and paste the item details into this template. Once you finish formatting, click Import Items to upload your saved file and bulk create your item library. After selecting the file you want to upload, click Confirm Import to upload your new item library. To learn more, go to square.com help and search keywords, create items on retail POS.